What's up everybody, Avignon here with Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1, Week 2, and we got an event going on right now, the Winter Fest. We had this, I think we have this every every year, I don't remember last year if we had this, but anyway, we got the Lodge again, and we're gonna get a new quest every day, up until 2 weeks from now, same, 12 days, 13 days, whatever, 2 weeks. But before we start this, don't forget to use code Avignon in the item shop so anyway the winter fest let's start with the winter fest the first challenge the only one we have right now is warm yourself at the yule log in the cozy lodge like i said the cozy lodge we had it i remember only having it once either last year or two years ago and it's right here on the menu we go to the right side here it is i think winter fast presents unwrap a daily free presence for 14 days and warm up to some free supercharger XP at the Yule Log. So we gotta, for the challenge itself, we gotta select. Let's open a present first. So every day we're gonna be able to open a present. We can choose. If you didn't do this last time, a year ago, two years ago, you can choose any of these presents and these ones apparently. There's more. For 14 days. Every day you can open one. I think you can just stack them up if you want. Let's open the Matrix one, I feel like. You know, it seems the most obvious. Shake. I don't know what that does. Maybe it's a wrap. Sentinel. A glider. Wow, okay. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so... Yeah, what happens? Yeah, I can shake a panel to see if I, what it is. Oh, there you go. So I just clicked on the lieutenant guy. I don't know what's his name. And then... Just select the fireplace. We actually get XP. Well, last time we, we were getting XP. Oh, there you go. 10 XP. If you want to do that, you can get XP right here. But that was the challenge. That, that was all you need, needed to do. Don't forget to get your presents. Because I imagine after 14 days, they're not going to be available. And it's free, you know. Everyone can have it. So what I'm going to do, because there's a new challenge every day. I'm not going to do a video every day. It's probably very simple, these challenges. So next week, I'm going to cover the 7 challenges. Or however many is going to be available. And then two weeks from now, I'll cover the next seven, I think, seven. Unless the quests are available before the two weeks from now, then I'll do a video before that. But I'll try to do everything at once instead of one video at a time. So for the season quest, the reason we are here, we got... So this challenge, like I said last week, it's glitched for me. I have to keep doing this. I don't know. I think I'm getting XP every time I do it. I don't know. But let's go for the actual quests. Catch a fish at Sleepy Sound or Loot Lake. So I'm in the middle of Loot Lake, this little island. And you got this spot here. Where there should be a bunch of barrels that you can destroy. You know, the fishing rods and hopefully a harpoon gun to make it easier to fish. This is not the case right now for me. So I'm just going to fish with the fishing rod. There's also that spot in there. There should be more barrels in there. I didn't find any barrels there, but there should be barrels there too. So you don't have, have to fish with the fishing spots. You just get better fish like this, but you can't technically just fish anywhere. But yeah, you, you, you are not gonna get fish. You might not get fish from this. Yeah, so try to go for fishing for spots. So I'm also going to show you on Sleepy Sound where you can get barrels. They're free. You obviously don't need to do this on both places. You can do only on only, only one of them. So here is a Sleepy Sound. We got oh boy. 
We got a lot of peers here. We should find a bunch of barrels. So there's here. There's down here. Is there any barrels? I don't know if barrels are a 100% spawn. Or, you know. So here's a bunch of... Oh my god. And there's the other side there. He's not gonna hit me. So let's see. More barrels here. And another one right there. I think that is it for Sleepy Sound. But obviously you don't need to get the barrels at the place. You just need to you just need to catch the fish on a Sleepy Sound or Loot Lake. So you can get the fishing rod or or the harpoon gun anywhere as long as you get the fish from these places. Using Spider-Man's web shooter, travel 50 meters in one swing. So here we got a spot for the web shooters. So you can find them in these webs, web places. And there will be the backpack with it. I don't know if it's available in Sing Rumble. I don't think it is. But you can try to see. So let's just do this. We gotta do 15, 50 meters. We just hold on to our chew. And there you go, 15 meters. Very simple. Oh, I missed. Anyway, very simple challenge. I'm going to actually show you all of the locations. This is the location for this one. Apparently, people are saying that this is a 90% spawn rate. I don't know where they get this number, but it's not 100%, obviously. But I'll show you all the locations, all the possible locations. So the way the web works, as long as you can string along, as you can see here, you know, web to web, you can keep going forever. But if you go down, you have a little timer. So here. So 10 seconds, I think 10 seconds is the max. But if you just... So let's leave the timer. If I just do one, the timer will be 5 seconds. So I think if I even do it faster, if I mess up really quick... Three seconds. I think you can even do two seconds. But obviously you don't want to do that. You want to just string as many of these as possible. And then you have a 10 second cooldown. Probably guarantee if you do it for a long time. So here's a map with all the possible locations for the Spider-Man web shooters. Well, so let's start from the north side. So we got here on this bridge. We got three locations. So you see the webs there. We got this one. Can I slash it? Let's see how it works. Nice. We got here. We got under the bridge. Right there. And over there on... The tree. Uh, okay. Here. So, right north of Log Jam, Lumberyard. Here, here, and here. So, here we are a bit south of the last location. We got two possible Spider Man web shooters. Right there, and right there. So it's right here, here, and here. 
So here's the location I actually showed initially. There are three possible places here. Right. So I'm doing this on Battle Labs, so it's showing 100% spawns. But on regular matches, you're probably not going to see all of these spawns for you. In fact, I am wrong. Wow, look at that. So it should be one here for sure. Wow, okay, so it's not 100%. The third location here. Am I wrong? Yeah, so I guess not even on Battle Labs is 100% spawn. It should be here. It's, it's the one I actually got. I actually showed initially. But yeah. So this bridge is over south of the last location. And it is on near Loot Lake. So we got three locations again. Uh, I can't reach. Okay. So let's see if we get all three here. It's another one. And here's the third one so far, 90% seems pretty accurate actually. So, let's try it here, north of Loot Lake. So here we got the Daily Bugle, which is actually a Spider-Man location. As you can see, a lot of webs here. There are six possible web shooter locations. And I didn't say this, but you can actually see with a sound effect visualizer. It's like a chest. So here's one. Another one here. There's all, they're always outside of the buildings. Another one here. Here. One on top of this building. And last one right here. That's six, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. This river stream is in between the Daily Bugle and the Sanctuary, right there. And we got two web shooters. There's one, and another one here, so right here, here, and here. So this spot is east of the Joneses, POI. It's on the road, we got three locations, one here. One there and one there. So last time I did this, that one wasn't showing up for me. So so far just one missing. Actually, last time I did this once to confirm and it was missing only one. Is that 90%? Maybe it is. So Joneses here, here in here so this spot here is north of the chonkers speedway there are three possible locations that one and that one so yeah north of chonkers and condo here here and here so this location is a little bit east of the last location. There are also three possible web shooters here. There's one there. Actually, I don't remember the others. Ah, uh, 
fuck. There's one there. So I'm pretty sure there should be one around this web here. So I guess, you know, I'm going to confirm where, where it is exactly and I'll show you. So here we are in another Battle Labs match. And there you go. It's right behind the web. Very obvious. So here's another stream, river stream. This one is near Greasy Grove. We got another three possible locations. Got that one there. One there. Let me see if I destroyed the tree. It does. Okay. And uh, another one here. So right here, 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 and here. This is the last location of possible web shooters we got here two possible locations on the rock there and on the rock there so right here south of greasy grove here and here so yeah, as you saw, only two of them weren't showing for me. So if this is the same spawn rate as the regular game, which is a possibility, there's a lot of them spread out. The Daily Bugle being the one of the most, obviously. But yeah, you shouldn't have a problem finding them, even if it is by eliminating other players. Damage opponents from 50 or more meters with the MK7 Assault Rifle. So apparently that was 50 meters. This is the new weapon that you can ADS, the MK7. We need to do 200 damage. So if you aren't on controller, it's kind of hard to control. I don't know if there is aim assist, but the recoil was very strong. That's gotta be true. 50 right there you go 200 so i was going to try this against ai normally ai doesn't work i think the the foundation you can find a foundation here and he might count for this but i can't Test this, I should have tested first. But if you're doing this against normal players, just ping it where they are and just try to tap purchase items from characters. So I'm actually gonna make a video with all the characters once again. There are 20 of them, as of right now at least. And I'll make a separate video for all their locations. So I'm gonna show you, here's a map with all the characters right now. There, there are a lot of them that are pretty stuck together. They're not very spread out so far. So let's do this with this character. We're gonna buy three of these, 25 gold. So it works. I'm, I'm gonna try to find something cheaper than that. I don't think there's anything cheaper, to be honest. But if I find something cheaper or easier for you, I'll show you right now. Again, I'm making a, a video with all the locations of the characters currently available, if you wanna watch that. So here I found three characters all on the Joneses POI, and they all sell either a meat 
or a fishing rod for 15 gold bar. So that's cheaper than the one I showed before. And also I realized that any guns that characters sell, they can be of any rarity. So that one that I bought for 25 gold bars was rare, but he can sell a gold gun. So it's not worth going there because it could be a higher rarity, it could be more expensive. And these guys sell meat and fishing rod and they should be always that rare. Actually, they could be a different rarity. You know, uh, they should be, they are the cheapest for sure and because there are five joneses on that location they don't they're not going to show up all at the same time the bunker jonesy seems to be the only one that always shows up and then a second jonesy all of the four missing will be there so it's kind of random but still the bu bunker jonesy should sell you a fishing rod unless he sells a pro fishing rod it shouldn't be that much more expensive either way you just need free you just need to buy free things from him from some one I'm just trying to make it easier for you. use a map mist while sliding so this is the Mad Mist, the new item in the season. It only heals regular health, doesn't get you any shield so you need to lose health first. So I'm gonna do that hopefully right now. Okay so we just need to heal once. So this Mad Mist you can heal while you are running and sliding which is the requirement just once if you can even just slide a little bit it works very simple survive storm circles while carrying a weapon of epic rarity or higher so I got this gold shotgun from a present. So presents are available right now in the game. You can also, if you need an epic gun, you can upgrade them. So 300 for rare. I imagine, you know what? Let's do it right now, just to see. 400 for epic, so I imagine 500 for gold. So you just need to hold on to the to the epic or rare gun for free four circles. I believe you, you can do this on Team Realm. You can try to find a gun or upgrade a gun. But I think it takes longer for you to hold on for the circle to to close on Team Rumble. But obviously if you die, it still counts. So it's up to you if you want to try that. Stash items in a tent. So tents are a new feature of the season. So here we got a tent that is unclaimed. We can claim them like this. We can manage storage. So for the challenge, well, I forgot that I had these. <laughs> okay. So we can store two items and that's what they want you to do for the challenge. The third item requires a hundred gold. So let me store these up for the challenge you gotta have it selected there you go so. and that is it for this week of challenges thanks for watching i'll see you next week for more winter fest and whatever else they have to show us okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like the video use code avignon and goodbye